Hello everyone, welcome back to Nurses the Heart of Healthcare. Keep learning, keep growing. My name is Shanaz. With Nurses the Heart of Healthcare, develop a passion for learning because when you keep learning, you always keep growing. At Nurses the Heart of Healthcare, we discuss all the important and interesting topics from the field of medicine which will help you to develop to a great healthcare professional, okay? And also to prepare for your exams and interviews, okay? So, uh, stay tuned, stay connected with Nurses the Heart of Healthcare for all uh, interesting topics from the field of medicine. Now, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss one very interesting topic for all those who are aspiring to work in the emergency department, the most active department of the hospital. Yes, so if you are uh, aspiring or if you want to work in the emergency department, uh, as a doctor, as a nurse, as a phlebotomist or as a emergency medical technician or whatever. If you are interested to work in the emergency department, then you will have a lot of questions like how it is going to be inside, uh, you know, how the work will go on there, will I be able to manage there or not, yes, how is going, uh, you know, how it looks like. Yes, so you will have a lot of questions in the mind. So before joining emergency department, please do watch this video because this is going to uh, help you a lot. In clarifying your doubts because this video is going to give you an overlook or an ultimate guide to the emergency department how it is what it is how it is going to be how the work goes on there what is the staffing pattern how the priorities are what kind of patients are received in each priority and how the work goes on there okay so stay connected with nurses the heart of healthcare for more interesting information related to this Okay, uh, but before moving ahead, a small and gentle reminder to all my lovely viewers that if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. If you find the content helpful, please do like and share my videos. And thank you so much to all my present subscribers for all your likes, comments and uh, for all the love. Thank you so much. Now, coming to emergency department. Emergency department, I am quite extra excited to discuss this topic because it is one of my favorite department. Okay. So emergency department as you know that it is the most active and critical department of the hospital. It is known as the face of the hospital because it is the first point of contact for any patient suffering from critical illnesses. Yes, so for any patient who is suffering from any of the critical illness who require immediate medical attention, they first contact emergency department. The stable ones obviously they will be going to the outpatient department OPD. Those who require immediate medical attention who are suffering from life-threatening condition will be contacting emergency department first, which will be always on the ground floor. Okay, emergency department in any hospital is always on the ground floor, which has a separate uh, entry and exit points, okay, so that they don't have to wait in queue. The patients don't have to wait in queue, okay, they are immediately received as soon as they reach the hospital because uh, in case of emergency, each and every second, each and every minute counts, okay, to save the life of a person. So emergency department, it is one of the most active and most critical department of the hospital and very important department of the hospital. Now coming to the staffing pattern of the emergency department. Like any other department, emergency department will also have an HOD that is head of the department who will be a senior uh, emergency consultant. Okay. And then uh, you know, you have team of doctors, team of nurses, uh, you know, a team of emergency medical technicians, uh, the uh, phlebotomist and uh, the pharmacist, yes, the housekeeping department, the transport department, okay, all these departments together, I mean, all these uh, people together, they make a wonderful emergency team, okay, and uh, emergency staff, they are very, you know, they are the first responders, they are very quick they are first responders and uh, you know all of them are well qualified okay and uh, they know how to carry out their work okay so now there is one hod okay who will be managing the entire department and you have uh, emergency physicians okay then uh, registrars working under them okay then each priority will be managed by different uh, doctors okay and then you have the nursing in charge the emergency nursing in charge and uh, shift in charges will be there each shift will be managed by different nurse in charge okay shift in charges and then you have a, a team of uh, nurses working differently for each shift okay and then you have uh, emergency medical technicians who get the patient uh, in the ambulance from outside and they also assist in priority one Okay, then you have a phlebotomist who collect the blood samples and uh, ER pharmacist will be there. 
uh, to supply with all the emergency uh, equipments and the medicines necessary and then you have the housekeeping department and the transport department who help in the work okay so all these people together they make a wonderful team of emergency department uh, and uh, you know and so it goes on smoothly okay so now coming to emergency department see the bed capacity of emergency department varies from hospital to hospital some hospitals they have 20 beds some hospitals they have 15 bed it depends okay it depends upon the size of the hospital okay uh, so emergency department they are allotted few beds and of course they'll have one one or two isolation rooms it depends again from hospital so these beds are again divided into priorities okay into different priorities the first uh, place where the patient is received after coming to the emergency department is the triage area the color code is red triage area okay triage where the patients are prioritized based on their uh, needs based on their condition okay the main aim of the triage is to uh, send the right patient to the right place at right time to the right health care provider okay so triage is the place where the patients are prioritized or categorized based on their condition and need okay uh, once as soon as any patient for example any patient comes to emergency department with any of the critical condition initially they are received in the triage area okay and in the triage area they the initial assessment is done as soon as possible the iv access is uh, gained okay if they require an ejv ejv is gained the vitals are checked okay the ecg is done uh, the grbs is checked and based on their need okay the iv fluids or oxygen therapy or whatever they require bipap whatever they require that support is given and then they are sent to the priorities okay based on their condition so there are four different priorities in most of the hospital okay and they have different color codes different e kind of equipments uh, to carry out i mean to assist with the condition there okay so now coming to priority one priority one that is p1 we call it as priority one the color code is red okay that means immediate or emergency or most urgent patients are received there okay patients who require immediate life-saving intervention or those who expect to receive immediate attention those who are suffering from a uh, life-threatening condition for whom there is a threat to life that kind of patients are received in priority one okay priority one is equipped with crash cards ventilators obviously see uh, cardiac monitors will be there in all the priorities irrespective of all the priorities cardiac monitors will be there but priority one is specially equipped with crash cards and ventilators and uh, you know bipaps and uh, of course oxygen supply is there all around and then suction that is also there all around and then uh, you know all the emergency equipments that are required to perform any of the emergency procedure it is equipped with okay so uh, what kind of patients we receive in priority one is serious accident cases may it be two wheeler or four wheeler unstable polytrauma major trauma myocardial infarction head injury patients with low gcs who may require immediate intubation uh, then grade four shortness of breath neonatal apnea respiratory failure anaphylactic shock or those with severe burns or limb amputation those with severe uncontrolled bleeding severe respiratory distress cardiopulmonary arrest active seizures those uh, with suspected or proven intracranial hemorrhage uh, those in shock or status asthmaticus all these kind of patients are received in priority one or are sent to priority one from trash okay uh, so uh, these kind of patients are received and then you know if uh, intubation is required intubation is done if cpr is required uh, see cpr will be done even in triage also if the patient requires the patient is uh, you've got a cardiac arrest we don't uh, waste time in shifting the patient to priority one immediately the cpr is started then and there okay because each and every second counts then uh, if icd is required they place an icd in priority one if central line is required central line is placed okay so whatever all the emergency procedures are required to save the life of a patient are done in priority one because it is well equipped and it is managed by uh, the senior er physicians and uh, senior er nurses okay so this is priority one then next coming to priority two the second priority p2 okay the color code is yellow where we receive uh, urgent cases okay those who can uh, those who can receive the treatment within 10 minutes okay up to 10 minutes if you delay the treatment means it is not going to harm so those patients who have threat to their limb those kind of patients are received in priority two okay so patients who have threat to life or limb or function 
are sent to priority two. For example, stable polytrauma, severe lacerations, hemoptysis, uh, then non-cardiac chest pain patients. Okay, all these kind of patients are sent to priority two with the color code is yellow. Okay, uh, severe headache, uh, pseudo seizures, hydrocephalus. falls large broken bones gi bleed yeah very common uh, cases that we receive gi bleed with uh, uh, you know and chemical exposure drug overdose okay and uh, all these kind of patients are received in priority 2 okay then next coming to priority 3 uh, even priority 2 is managed by uh, er yeah, different uh, physician i mean different doctors and different nurses okay each priority will have different doctors and different nurses to look after okay so now coming to priority 3 priority 3 the color code is green okay here they send those patients who are like less urgent or they can delay the treatment for you know within 30 minutes if they receive the treatment it is not going to cause any harm to them so example uh, patients like those who have minor injuries or tight cast or previous trauma or upper respiratory tract infection or stable lower respiratory tract infection or those who need stitches broken bones okay abdominal pain chemotherapy patients or uh, those uh, with head injury but they are alert and there is no loss of consciousness okay all these kind of patients they are sent to priority 3 again it is looked after by different doctors and different nurses okay and then in priority 4 uh, we receive uh, those patients see this is priority 1 how it is crash carts ventilators infusion pumps syringe pumps cardiac monitors oxygen supply suction everything will be available there to manage the patient okay so and in the priority 4 see at some it is uh, color code black or black it is diseased where dead patients are kept and uh, uh, priority 4 it is blue color okay where not urgent cases are kept like those who can we can delay the treatment for about 45 minutes not willingly it is only in emergency okay so those patients are kept in priority 4 like those who come for removal of stitches or review patients or those with uh, minor cuff or those who come for injections low back pain or mild abrasions opd cases uh, minor treatment minor dressing or foley's change or foley's removal cases okay these kind of cases are kept in priority 4 and also those patients who are like dead received dead bd patients brought dead or those who die there also we keep them in priority 4 till all the formalities are done and uh, later when they get to, when they can take the patient okay so all this kind and again priority 4 is looked after by different doctors and different nurses okay so these are the four main priorities one is triage area and four main priorities where we receive the patient okay each priority is looked after by different doctors and different nurses who are well trained well qualified and quick in their work okay so it is not easy to work in the emergency department because uh, it is like you know round the clock you need to be active this moment you see that the department is free okay there are hardly few patients the next moment you can receive any kind, any number of patients any kind of patients so yes so it is very adventurous very thrilling to work there you need to be quick and you need to be always on your toes okay because you are the first responders for you i mean those who are working in the emergency department for us it may be like maybe it is the 15th or 20th or 30th patient that we are receiving but for the patient it is not like that yes so we need to respond quickly and uh, do whatever we can to save the life of a patient to stabilize the patient and once the patients are stabilized they are not kept in the emergency department as we know once the patient condition is stabilized the patients are shifted according to see if the patient is getting admitted in the hospital they are shifted according to like if the patient requires some emergency surgery they are shifted to ot directly from the emergency department or those who require icu care they are shifted to icu uh, there are different icus of course cardiac icus are there uh, you know uh, this acute medical icu is there Uh, this one uh, surgical icus are there okay or those who require step down they are shifted to step down those who require ward or room care they are shifted to ward or room okay it depends based on their condition the patients are again shifted first we are receiving the patient initial assessment we are doing we are stabilizing the patient we are giving all the uh, emergency treatment all the necessary uh, immediate uh, investigations that are required to make the diagnosis and move with the treatment and then we will shift the patient based on their need okay to the icu ot ward or room okay 
so this was in short about emergency department emergency department is like you know very interesting department uh, you know once you get in you will surely fall in love with but only thing is you need to be you need to have that quality of keeping your cool okay because it is always like you know it's always there is rush there so you need to keep your cool even in case of emergencies even in case of chaos and uh, you have to respond quickly okay and always be on your toes uh, ready to attend any number and any kind of patient because each patient bring different challenges okay we don't know what kind of infection or what kind of uh disease condition they are coming with okay so we need to uh, follow proper precautions and then give quick treatment and there will also isolation room will be available wherein we keep the uh, those patients who are suffering from some airborne or uh, lung infections like maybe covid or open cox or chicken pox okay so those kind of patients we will uh, keep them in the isolation room till they are shifted okay so this was in short about the most active most lovely most wonderful department of the hospital that is er emergency okay so emergency department staff you are the hero okay this was for you so hope it was helpful and uh, if you find the content helpful please do like and share my videos and uh, keep uh, motivating me uh, and uh, share this okay and uh, as i always say that try to help as many as possible okay stay humble stay down to earth and keep updating yourself okay keep updating yourself be competent and uh, learn and teach others too okay thank you so much